Hey, what's going on Facebook? Good morning, good morning to you. Happy day, happy Tuesday. My wife says happy day. <laughs> happy day to you. So check this out, I'm gonna give you a little special treat. Although if you've been following me, you've seen my morning so far. Oh, there goes a bird. But I'm just gonna share this special treat with you. You don't live near the beach. If you live near the beach and you have access and you're able to get down there, I'll tell you what. To me, part of the reason why I live near the beach is for this right here. And yes, everybody is doing their part, keeping socially distanced. You see, it's regular weekday. This is actually about what it looks like normal this time of year, at this time of day. But how beautiful is this right now? Just share that for a moment. Listen, in about an hour, a little less than an hour, coming on here live, Daily Dose. It's called the Daily Dose, 8 a.m. every morning. And listen, if you have any questions right now, I'd love it. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, I can catch your Daily Dose this morning at 8 a.m., or even if you have questions, I can come on and answer those questions for you. But hello, good morning. I know you don't want to see me when you have a beautiful sunrise like this. Check this out. Let's get a little closer. Let's get down to the water so you can hear. I'll tell you two things that I love about the beach. Well, three, four, five, six things I love about the beach. One of the things, sorry, there's my ugly mug. The sun's shining. <laughs> um, one of the things that I really love is not just the salt air, the sand is the sound of the ocean and when there isn't any waves like you saw there's not too much as far as waves go this morning um, I'll turn this around this way here we go just check that out not too much in the respect to waves can't even get out there and surf but the sound alone of the ocean is really sometimes just all I need it's definitely it it, it fills my day it helps encourage me it gives me like it's almost like caffeine in the morning and if you've been following me for any period of time, you know I, I spent a lot of time down towards the beach. That's why we live close to the beach and we're able to, grateful and blessed that we were able to live as close as we do. It's partly why we moved from, from New York upstate or up in New York to here because there's no way I could afford to live. Uh, the beach is up in the north areas. Check that out, we'll see if I can do this. Uh, see, it's, it, let me do this, let me turn this around. This camera does better justice. Check that out. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Good morning to you. Good morning to you, man. Hope you're well. April, appreciate you for jumping on here. And again, what a beautiful morning. What's going on, Justin? Good morning to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you're up early, getting the work done. So listen, I'm going to take a little walk, and you can come walk with me, because I actually haven't been able to do one of these in a while. Come on, boy. Let me just show you who's my, my sidekick here. Whoop. Now I'm all crossed up. Hold on. <laughs> There's my sidekick right there. This is Owen. Let's, let's meet Owen. Come here, boy. That's Owen. Here, sit. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> sit. All right, let's meet Owen. So check out this face right here. He was very upset that we couldn't go down to the beach for a couple of weeks. Hey, boy. This is my Ridgeback Pit Mix. He's five years old. He's a gentle beast. I say that. <laughs> yeah, let me get back to the sun. He's a... He's a gentle beast, pretty amazing, right? So, but Owen here, yeah, he's like, Dad, what are you doing? Why are you putting me on the spot here? <laughs> hey, so, so we got him uh, as a rescue. He was a rescue about, I think he was maybe a, a couple months old. And um, a vet actually found him that there's an area here, a local rescue called Rescue Junkies. On a side note, we've had um, two dogs as a family. We had a puppy that we brought home. Um, actually, he was chosen for us by a breeder. We wanted a Swiss mountain dog, and if, if you've ever seen, if you've ever been following stuff in the, for a while now, now Sully, our, pat, our last dog, had passed after 12 years. He was a Swiss mountain dog, he's 140 pounds. This guy is only about 80, he's a little guy, right? 80 pounds. But our other dog was about 140, and it was great. While we had, you know, purchased a dog, I would say there's, there's something different about having a rescue dog. And uh, I don't know if you've ever had any rescue dogs before, but there is, there's something special about it. You kind of don't know what you're going to get. Uh, you have to put at least this guy, he's a ridge in a pit. We had to put so much work into training him, and it's still a work in progress. In fact, 
he's the kind of socially socially distanced dog <laughs> to begin with. Um, just it, it's just in him. Uh, he's uh, he's friendly with some dogs, and I don't know. Maybe you can relate. <laughs> maybe you're enjoying the social distancing thing a lot. Maybe you're that introvert. But he he's a bit of an extrovert, but almost overly extroverted. But how, hello, let's let's go back to the sunrise. Check that out. Let me turn this around. Hey Rachel, what's going on? Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's show that beautiful sunrise. Tell you what, we're just a couple of houses off the beach. Super, super blessed. We actually been living here for the past 18 years. And this is Atlantic Beach, Florida. If you ever come and visit, come visit. We'll hang out, do some surfing, paddle boarding. Like this, a morning like this is perfect for paddle boarding. But listen, I'm gonna come on here. Hey, Laura, what's going on? Franklin, what's going on? Appreciate you. Let's take a walk here. Big beach, beautiful beach. Actually, it's been quiet for a couple of weeks and now they let us on. Let me come back here. They let us on just to get walking. Actually, I think my son was down here. Uh, my teenage son was down here with a couple of friends. They were walking, but then he, of course, made the mistake to sit down and he got yelled at. <laughs> and also, this is, this is just kind of following suit. It sounds like me when I was 16. Then he went and surfed yesterday down the road and I guess he parked in the wrong spot and he came home with his first ticket. He was very upset, which I was a little disappointed to think that our, our again, this is not to knock our local police because they do a great job, but to think that, and it's a park place that we've parked many a times before. And it's something that I was kind of <laughs> laughing. I was like, sure, we've been here 18 years. We parked in the same spot down the beach here for 18 years, never get a ticket. And now they're giving tickets out, which I think, think is pretty ironic. But anyway, it is what it is, right? Can't get, if that's, if that gets your, if your panties in a wad, <laughs> and it isn't so for mine, that's just, I don't know why I use that, that term, but let's, let's take a look at the sunrise. How about that? Pretty beautiful, right? Pretty awesome. I'll tell you what, there's nothing like a beautiful sunrise. The sunsets are beautiful, but I don't live, sunsets are way the other direction, obviously. So it's not something that, um, what a peaceful way to start. Yeah, Rachel, it is. It truly is. Hey, Franklin, it's, um. You know, it's something I'm going to actually talk about kind of purpose on at eight o'clock. By the way, I'm going to go live for my daily dose at 8 a.m. This is just a little little uh, preview. It's not going to be at the beach, but I, I couldn't pass up an opportunity to share a little message with you. I wanted to talk about I'm actually going to share with you something that a colleague of mine shared and just about purpose and plan for your life and and uh, kind of what drives you and waking up. That's why I made this wake up like wake up Facebook, it's time to wake up, right? And this is probably the time where your schedule's been maybe jacked up. Maybe your sleep schedule's off, your work schedule. Maybe you don't have to go to work because you don't, you're not working right now, which, you know, that probably sucks. Um, I, made a, a, I made a move about two and a half years ago and I took my business completely online. And, and while it's still, you're like, oh, you must have it made. Well, it's still work, it's still challenging because I still have clients that I work with whose jobs and lives are kind of thrown up all around, I had clients, I have clients that live overseas. Some of them work for the government and got sent home, got shipped back home um, and had to kind of uproot where they were planted and had to come back home. And that's definitely a, a distraction. But with that said is, you know, getting to where I'm at, having a beautiful place to come and walk with my dog in the morning is something that I, it was, it was planned, it was mapped out, but it took me getting up. It took me waking up not just waking up to go down and check out the sunrise, it took me actually making some action steps. You see, I didn't just like wake up one day and say, hey, when I'm 47, I'm going to live at the beach. I actually had to do a lot to get here. It didn't take just sitting around. It didn't take being mopey. It didn't take, you know, being depressed at my current situation. And I've had plenty of them that were challenging. I'm sure if you followed me, you've heard a little bit about my story. I'm going to share a little bit about that just because I want to give you some a pre-encouragement encouragement right now. Encouragement for this morning. Uh, gosh, because it's so easy to just fall down that rabbit hole of discouragement, right? You can either get up or you can stay down and you have an opportunity right now. I think an amazing opportunity right now to really get up to maybe look into doing something that you haven't been able to do for a long time. Maybe that's with your health. Maybe it's with a career change. Maybe you got laid off, but it could be the time right now that you pick to do something different with your life that you always wanted to do. So to me, I think that's an amazing opportunity. I look not just for the glass to be half full, but how can I fill it and overfill it? 
And you see, one of the things that I find, honestly, it helps fill me up is to encourage others. It's been my pursuit for not just becoming a you know, fitness person, physical therapy, I'm gonna share that at nine o'clock, but truly like what fills me up is helping others. And even if you think of, gosh, you know what, your chances are, you're probably underestimating your ability, your talent, the, the, the impact that you can have on your life, the life of your family, the life of others. And I don't know what that looks like. Again, that's your walk, your life. And I'm gonna talk about that more, but I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at the sunrise because you don't wanna hear me yap more. What's going on, Susan? Good morning, good morning to you, Carl. Appreciate you for coming on here. Natalie, you might as well see the sunrise. Listen, I would love to know where you live. If you live near the beach or live near the sunrise or you see an awesome sunset, I would love to see maybe you post if you're able to catch a cool sunset and go live because I don't get to see those. Those are beautiful. The sunsets, I'll tell you, one of the most amazing sunsets are in um, Costa Rica. And uh, I've had the, the, the fortunate ability to... Sorry, let me turn this around. I've been fortunate enough to have some experiences in Costa Rica. Started on what was a mission trip, went with, uh, gosh, about 10 years ago, over 10 years ago, and we fell in love with Costa Rica, of course, for the waves, but gosh, the sunsets in Costa Rica are just phenomenal. Amazing, amazing sunsets, beautiful sunsets, and uh, while I'll definitely take the sunrise because we get those so often, I almost feel like I take them for granted, but I guess <laughs> One of the things right now I'm realizing after two, three, two and a half weeks, three weeks of not being able to come down here is uh, how, you know, how much I missed the sunrise. And uh, I'll tell you what, that's it. I'm going to leave you for that for now. I'll give you a little, one more little, and I'll tell you what, it's about probably 70 degrees, 75 degrees. Absolutely stunning. So listen, wake up Facebook. Wake up and join me at 8 o'clock this morning for a daily dose of encouragement. That's it for now. Take care and have a blessed day.